few other elements, and we have a few more, of course. Uh, a good entrepreneur should be modest and self reflective. Uh, these two are very much connected to each other. Because uh, if you are such a leader who says that I'm kind of king, you do what I do, what I say, and um, everyone should follow me, and you don't care about what the others think or what I feel, if you are lucky and you're kind of genius, just Steve Jobs, uh, yeah, you can be successful. But you see one part of the reality and you need feedbacks. You need, you need to have the input from others. If you don't listen, if you, you think you are the king of your empire, uh, you will lose a lot of opportunity to have support, direct or indirect support from, uh, from your colleagues, from your, from your partners, from, from, from your stakeholders. And it's linked to be self-reflective. So that's what we, we just discussed. You have to learn from your mistakes. Entrepreneurship is about to try something. It will be good or bad, but there will be it will be not perfect, especially for the first time, of course. You have to learn from your mistake, and you you have to develop it further, and you develop all the all the all part of the entrepreneurship further, or your company further. So you fix it, and you are in a good way, good track. If you don't make the same mistake two times, right? so it's a never-ending story. So you you try something, you you make something done, and then you evaluate, even evaluate yourself. You you ask yourself, okay, it was like uh, it's okay, how to make it better? Or it was like complete disaster, fine, first time. What are the lessons? How to make it's better how to avoid the situation, how to how to treat the people better, how to how not to lose that client, how to keep the key person in the, in, the, in your company, why he or she left the company, why the competitors could give a better option than, than you and your company. So why you are not able to keep that key person? Because better salary, better conditions, better corporate culture, or whatever, or yourself. Because many times, or practically speaking most of the time, once we resign, from a company, you don't resign because of the salary or because of the because of the company itself or the job itself. Because every job has a good part and bad part. Hopefully, you enjoy your your, your job better than you know. Um, you have more good days than bad days. But most of the cases, we you resign because of our direct boss. It's a, most of the time, it's a leadership issue. So if a leader, if a, if an entrepreneur has the uh, the, the, the will, the, the motivation to be, to, to be developing himself, herself further, have some kind of self-reflection, to be able to tell myself, okay, I, I screwed up, okay, it was my mistake, uh, I tried to make it better, uh, even that behavior makes a very good impact on the corporate culture. So that's a general mistake. Leaders, especially young leaders, first time think that, if I'm the CEO of a company, I have to be perfect. I have to know everything instead of okay guys this is what I developed from zero until here this is a new question for me even for myself honestly I have no idea what you think right? so what is your opinion I don't have to know everything but I have to be able to hire people who can help me or help us together to solve the problem so it's very much kind of attitude question if I'm a king of the company and everyone has to follow me it's very stressful, first of all. Second of all, you, you really have to be able to be a good problem solver of everything in finance, in accounting, in marketing, in human resources, in production, in logistics, whatever, which is, practically speaking, impossible. Instead of, okay, I'm, I know where I'm good in, in which part of the business, and where I need others to be better than I am. Right? Better than I, than I do. So I have to have a good CFO for the company who knows finance better than I do. I need a good marketing people who know marketing better than I do. Right? For that, you have to have a certain level of self-knowledge and some kind of uh, self-reflection to be able to learn and to be able to hire people according to what you already have or what you, what you should have.